Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions, the Unbound channel where I get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today, how have you been? On today's tutorial, we are going to show you two methods on how to extract elevation values from your digital elevation model. So we have a digital elevation model here. Yeah? So let's try to change the symbology. So we use them um, a different color ramp. Should I float it? Okay. Let's just put it and then good. So docking it back. So we have this as our digital elevation model, and then we have a set of points defined by their longitude and their latitude of which we want to now get the elevation or maybe the altitude information about this point, right? But so the first thing is for us to import those points to ArcGIS Pro. So we come down to add data or yeah, use the drop down and then add um, XY point data, right? So for the input table, we browse. Good. So we have navigated to the folder where we have those points. Then we try to add them. Okay. Good. So we now assign the fields for the X. It's actually longitude. For the y it's what latitude right good we don't have the z value and then you can see the coordinate system is what the geographic coordinate system is mwgs 1984 we can now click on run to add them um, those points that we are trying to what um get their altitude values or maybe their elevation values good so the points have been added successfully and then we can see that there is an overlay right good so for us to proceed we are now going to search for those tools that we will use First of which is um, extract values to point, right? Good. So we have um, extract values to points, which is this. So what does it do? It extracts the cell values of the raster based on the set of point features and records the values in the attribute table of an output word feature class. So let's open that up. Now the input point feature would be the game data we have. The input raster would be what? the digital elevation model we have and then by default we have what an output and point feature class maybe output point features where the extracted elevation values alongside the x and y which is the longitude and latitude will be what will be appended right good then for the interpolate values and um, at the point location we can use what this um, information to read what it means and then we have to leave it checked Similarly, when we come down to append all the input raster attributes to the output point feature, we also read what is there, and then we have to leave it checked, right? Good. Good. So, having done all of these, we can click on Run. This will now extract the elevation values according to what the non-student and latitude. It has been executed successfully. So, we have what a new, a new point feature, right? Good. So, if we open it up, down to the attribute table we are going to see the raster value and then this raster value is the fields that what and um, stores the elevation values that have been extracted from this raster right but now if you look closely there are some of the values that are null these values that are null are those points that fall outside of our den so for us to confirm let's just pick any of them randomly and then we zoom to selection right we, you see that it's actually falling outside. So if we now also select any point that has what the raster value, and then we also zoom to the selection, we can now see that it's actually inside of our digital elevation model. So remember that this first method actually created what zoom to layer. It actually created a new output point feature class, right? Good. But the second method we want to use is going to append, is going to modify this, um, our input um, data, right? Good. So let's now search for the second feature. Still come back to the geoprocessing tool and then we'll search for add surface information, right? So we use the 3D analyst tool. Now this tool modifies the input um, features. So the input feature will definitely be what the DEM data we have been using. Then the input surface is our digital elevation model. 
and then the output property if we look at the information and then read through what what um, it describes the output property as we just then um, check z and then the method we have bilinear so it's already selected the sampling distance and the z factor are left as default but you can also read what each of them what means and then to get a better insight of whatever parameters that have been there or that are there right good so I haven't fixed all of these parameters under the add surface information. We click on run. Good. So it has been executed successfully. So if we open up the, okay, it should be this. If we open up this attribute table now, we are going to see a new field called Z. And then under the Z, we now have what the elevation values populated, right? Good. Now, Remember, this second method of using add surface information actually modified the what the input feature, which is what our dem data. However, the first method, which was um, extract values to point, actually created what a new point feature class, right? Good. So, having gotten these values, we can decide to highlight and then copy, right, so that we can paste it on a spreadsheet like what Excel. So we come up to this um, our dem data. And then we can decide to paste here, yeah, right? Good. You now see the longitude, the latitude correspondingly, and then you now see the Z value. We can still do that for this was the input point feature that was modified. Now this was actually created, right? Good. So we can also highlight and then copy, right? come back to the spreadsheet and then also paste it similarly. So having done that, we now have our original data, which is this, the product of one of the tools we have used, which is this, and then the product of the second tool, which is this, right? Good. So by maybe trying to verify whatever value we have, remember we have understood why some of these values are null because they fall outside of our digital elevation model. So if we want to confirm if our if the z values from the both tools are actually the same, you can just um, run a simple program here. This z minus what this, and then we enter. So you now see that we have exponential minus six, right? Good. Which shows that um, the values are actually very, very close to zero, and some of them are also zero. So we have shown you exhaustively two methods on how to extract what your elevation values from your digital elevation model in ArcGIS Pro. And then we have also shown you the implication of each of them. We are going to see you on the next tutorial. And we also exported to what to Excel, that's actually very important. So we are going to see you on the next tutorial. Ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time. Bye.